Hey with you today is my Bugaboo Chameleon 3. I was just going to do a review on my pram. The beautiful noise you'll be able to hear in the background are the cicadas. If they are annoying you in this video, I can assure you they are annoying me 10 times worse. I live with them all day, every day. They stop at night, but oh my gosh. <laughs> it's like this. From the time that you wake up in the morning until like ugh, 9 or 10 o'clock at night and I have to deal with that. Anyways, I apologise about that. There's nothing I can do if you guys want videos uploaded. We have to deal with it. I've like closed up as much as I can to help get the noise out but it's not helping. Anyways, this is my Bungaboo Chem uh, Chameleon 3. It is actually in the lying down position with the the baby or toddler seat on and facing me. Um, it has in its oopsies, the hungry caterpillar pram runner that I've made. So to adjust it, you've got two buttons on either side, so you squeeze them in, oopsies, and push it further up. So it has three seating positions. So it has my hungry caterpillar pram runner in it at the moment. This is just a safety strap. Uh, the belly bar is removable, so uh, from one side you have a button that you can press in here and it will swing out and it will rotate as well. So if you want to completely take it off, you press both buttons in and remove it. Um, that's my little dragonfly toy because I feel like it matches in. Even though it's supposed to be a butterfly, that's what I've got. <laughs> Uh, the next thing is the canopy is large. Um, you can buy the extendable hoods for them, but I just haven't gone out and purchased them. Um, I made one in this material here. Oopsies. In my like raccoon um, material, so it's actually a hood cover made out of that. So I have a full set for my frame. But at the moment, I've got. The, the beige coloured hood on. Um, another thing is it's got the extendable handle, so you flip these. Basically anything on a bugaboo that is white does something. So this white clip here does something, so what that does is extend the handle up and down. Oopsies. I am short so I like to keep it down. Next thing, I have these two little white buttons. You can see them on the inside, so there's one here and then there's one in here. If I push these down at the same time, it actually moves the handle over to the other side. So you can see at the back I have the large wheels. These are foam filled wheels and they're amazing. They don't puncture and you don't have to blow them up. So that's why a foam filled wheel compared to a, an air tyre is a lot better. Well, for myself, I prefer a foam filled over an air tyre. And the front wheels are just quite small. Um, you can see all of this. This spring along here is actually um, suspension, so that can be all adjusted. And again, with the white buckles, sorry, the white thing, the wheels can be locked into position. So, oopsies. They lock this way. And they stay straight if that's what I wanted to do. So that's more of like a terrain thing um, if you're going in a rough terrain. But I generally don't. These two front ones here uh, also take the front wheels off. So back to these buttons up the top. I have the large wheels at the back that are fixed and the front swiveling wheels at the moment. If I were to walk up and have coffee and my baby was facing me and I wanted to have the baby face the table, like an older baby, I could simply switch the handle over, so push the two buttons down and switch the handle over. Now you'll notice that the um, small wheels are at the back of the handle, so it's going to steer backwards. I hate it, I dislike it, <laughs> it's not ideal. Um, I've done it once when I was walking across grass, and obviously, you know, it's better to have the big wheels up the front to take it, all of the terrain and the small wheels just to follow it along. So that's what it's designed for as well. Um, so we'll put the handle back over and I'll show you the seat comes off 
and it is actually, you've got these two buttons down here, push them at the same time, and it's actually one of the seats on the market that can be taken off and used as a seat on the ground. So, that will sit there and it will stay firm. So it's got the two little um, support legs, I would call them, that keeps it firm in place. So if you went to the beach or to the park, you can actually put Bub on the ground in their seat. They can have their nap. They can just sit there so that you don't have to hold them. Or okay, so now we are just left with the pram frame. Uh, it's got a big basket down the bottom, which also, I've got some accessories in, which also has this, um, this bag on it. So what it does, the idea behind this is that you can tie it up and make sure that your stuff doesn't fall out. I'm not a huge fan of the basket, but there's no reason why it can't be used like a normal basket. I generally don't have enough stuff to fill it up. I mean, I have the nappy bag and that's about it. But like I said, it can be used like a normal basket. It sits in there and all of my stuff can just sit on top of that like a normal basket. This is an optional add-on. This is my drink holder, which I used to always put on the outside of my pram. And so one of the girls actually showed me to put it on the inside of the frame. And I thought, it's good. It's a good idea to put it on the inside, but sometimes when you're um, putting the, the seat on or the basin, uh, not the basin, the um, capsule or something like that, it gets in the way. So it's good to add that on last. So I will take that off. Um, with Bugaboo, normally you get um, a bassinet fabric that goes on this part, which is the seat frame. So this actual hard part is this, called the seat frame or the frame. And this is the seat fabric. And then you're supposed to have a bassinet fabric with it, which I don't have with my bungaboo. Um, I never got it. I've been looking for one, but I'm not going to run out and get one because I have my capsule and I have the seat. So it's not an issue to me at the moment. It also clips on the front. What am I doing? There you go. Clips on and faces forward, and you have the three positions again. So each side on the big button is one, two, three. So there's that. And again, two buttons to take that off. It's quite easy to use. I think my bugaboo is really easy to use. I just struggle a little bit with adapting the capsule. And I think it's, I still don't think it's pram, I think it's the actual capsule itself. So you add the two adapters, yeah, in front of the pram, you put that one on the left side, which is the left, and that one on the right side, which is the right. Click goes on, one, two, and in this Maxi Cozy, they're the Maxi Cozy adapters for the, um, the cam three. Which is Chameleon 3. And in here is where the uh, adapters adapt onto. You can see there's like a lock. And to unlock them, I'll show you. Uh, you can see these. Oh no, you can't actually see them. Can you see them? Yes, those grey buttons. They are hidden. Um, the fabric is supposed to go over them and let them be seen, but it doesn't always sit that way. Yeah, so, anyways. Add the capsule on, and it turn this around that way. You hit slide it on, and it should click on. I can take it off. Line it up there, and line it up on this side, and click it on. And it never clicks for me. <laughs> up to you if you want to push the um, handle back or not. I usually don't, but I kind of feel like I should. <laughs> It looks cute. But in saying that, I like to keep it up because then it keeps my capsule cover over the top. So there's the capsule on the bugaboo frame. It's not that um, tricky or whatever, but what I've been doing as I use it with the rebounds is when I take it off, because sometimes when I'm out it's painful, is I've been leaving the adapters on, so to take it off I've been um, pushing these two ones, these two here, which takes the adapters off with the capsule instead of using these buttons in here, which actually removes the adapter from the socket. Why is it not coming up? There you go. 
a little bit tricky to get up. So that's what I've been using them like that. And the last thing I'll show you is how to fold it. So remember these two buttons in here that I um, swapped the handle with? So those ones I'm talking about, instead of pushing it forward, the frame, we want to lift it up while pushing them in and instead of going forwards we're going to lift up and drop it down catch it with your foot never let your handle touch the ground this will break your rubber like the rubber on the handle so catch it with your foot then jump in and let it down or you can keep it there the metal bar running across the middle is what you grab so reach in grab that bar and it slides up into one compact pram. So there's your fold and to unfold I grab the back of the handle and walk it out. Oops, that was my dress. <laughs> there you go. So it's quite easy to do. And last but not least, beautiful red safety brake up here. So it's actually handheld which is awesome. So to apply the brakes you simply push forward and to take off the brake you've got a white button on the side. So Push forward on the red lever to release the tension, push in the white button and it comes straight off. That is pretty much everything about my Bugaboo Chameleon 3. It is an awesome pram and you should all get one. <laughs>